the 22nd of June and I'm just going to give you a couple of long range shots of the garden. Mid-June is probably when it's the fullest, the most in bloom. We'll take some more pictures a little later on when a few more of the daylilies get blooming, but I wanted to show you how nice. We're sitting in the porch swing. We're looking through the willow that's here in the foreground out toward the mosaic garden and over toward the Moroccan room and you can see how everything if you compare it to April's you can see how everything is just exploded in the garden so um, now I'm gonna walk down here pretty pretty quickly to the other look because we're gonna look at the different rooms so this is the shade garden here and then we'll walk through the mosaic garden where we have all of our lovely little sparkly things that attract all the light underneath the wisteria past the mock orange past the pond and now we're to our second garden area our second room I'm going to sit right here, down here on the end of the Moroccan room and we'll look this way and you can see dad's garden out there which is a what we would consider another room but this one here is the one that has the lovely campanula it's underneath the window it's going to have it's got the day lilies in it you can see a nice red one there at the end I believe I'm not going to zoom in on anything today we're just going to do a slow little tour and then you can see all the day lilies that are blooming out there in the day lily bed You've got the Theresa lilies back there that are bright yellow. You've got the Heritage. You've got a really beautiful span of corkscrew willow now with the zebra grass in front. And that's a Macanthus grass that's blooming there that's all fluffy in the background. And then pretty soon, those big, tall, wide leaves, those are crocosmias. And within the next couple of days, they're going to be bright red, and I'll bring you back out to show them again. And then we've got the pond down here, which you can hear, I'm sure, in the distance. And so now we're going to get up. You love these ups and downs with me, right? Okay, and we're going to walk out to Daddy's garden, because his is the next. So up we go. And we'll walk past all the lilies, and I'll give you a little bit nicer view of those. No, no taking in the big whole circumference of it, but we also have the sweet peas that are blooming. This corn bed that didn't do well for dad, we're going to put wildflowers in it, we've decided. And like I told you before, <clears throat> I'm going to sit down here now on this bench, and we're going to look at daddy's garden. So this is the blueberries. The blueberries are coming on so strong I'm going to have to come out here and get some to put on my cereal this morning. You can see the grapes in the background there and they're doing extremely well. I'm going to have to come out and do a little trimming on those. We did get the raspberries and the blackberries pulled out over there against the fence like I told you and one of those main beds, I don't know if you can see it back behind the blueberries, see that patch of earth there we took down one of the raised beds and put the soil in my soil box here and also in the other box beside the path and we're going to put wildflowers in it I believe so we can have bouquets in the house all the time and then James ordered, sent me a catalog he was just so tempting and he said you need to buy some more daylilies no he really didn't he just sent me the catalog but I said to myself I need to buy some more daylilies oh here comes a plane wait a minute we'll let it go by that's the only thing that disturbs our quiet corner but you really kinda get used to it after a while but I noticed on the other videos that you don't you hear it quite a lot okay so anyway <clears throat> James sent me a catalog with 75% off daylilies. And so I bought five more daylilies. In September they're going to come. And I'm going to turn around here and show you. This little bed right here has some Stella Deora daylilies in it already. You can see those blooming there. But it also has some glads that do kind of half-heartedly. 
and I think I might move them maybe into these beds behind beside the walkway because they would enjoy having some really good soil and that's some really good soil we put them in and then I'll put the new daylilies in this one because this bed has sun almost all day long and that's what daylilies like so now we'll walk down the length of the walkway here to the east garden so you can see it both ways so there it is off in the distance you can see the buffalo bluegrass and emperor mings on the other side of that the lilacs the fruit trees which are doing very nicely I'll show you some up closes of those a little later on the um, cocktail tree which needs to be done a little bit trimmed a little bit you can see how the red twig dogwood is coming back very nicely by the end of the summer it'll be back in its own and then over in to the actual east garden which is underneath a clarodendron and it has some daylilies in it that are starting to bloom it's still got the nice spiderwort which blooms a long time it's a nice flower to have and um, the azalea and I'm gonna fix my little bubble pot here soon it ended up that the, the um, pump went bad on it so now let's go up here on the porch I'm gonna walk right up here on the porch we're gonna sit down in this chair well maybe we'll sit down the one next to it I don't know we'll see how well we can see in the sunshine but we're looking directly into the Sun because it's morning it's only nine o'clock in the morning but you can see how nice and peaceful it is out here. You've got the euphorbia to the right. You've got Emperor Ming down there looking at you. You've got the nice little post that Daddy put there so that I could go up and down those steps and hold on. It's got a nice light to it. And then you've got all the pretty flowers over there. Um, the meadow rue, the one that I told you about that was going to explode into flower, that's it on the left in the yellow. There's also a pink one there too, but the pink one already bloomed and went and daylilies underneath a tree. Daylilies are pretty hardy. They'll do it just about anywhere. And uh, so that gives you our little short span and um, you can see that, that we have a nice little sitting area each place for each room. The orchard and the east garden are kind of one and the same but they are different rooms of the garden as well. Okay, so that's it for now. And I'll get back to you shortly with our wonderful, I hope wonderful, tour of the Moroccan Room.